welcome back. You're watching Al Jazeera. A reminder of our top stories. Syria's army says it will cease all military operations from Friday to Monday as part of a temporary ceasefire over the Eid holiday. A free Syrian army leader has told Al Jazeera that his group will observe the truce as long as the government does. Now, on our top story, the announcement of a temporary ceasefire by the government in Syria. Joining me is Louis Safi from the Syrian National Council. Thank you for coming into the studio once again. First, does the Syrian National Council support this truce brokered by Lakhda Brahimi? Well, the, the council is for ceasefire and for a political resolution of this conflict. But none of us is very hopeful that the regime would abide by this ceasefire. Is the SNC suspicious about the government's motives for agreeing to the ceasefire? I mean, this is part of the track record of the regime. They have always said yes to international initiatives, but never kept their words. Uh, there was more serious, really, attempt to bring a amicable solution to this conflict by uh, Kofi Annan. And they agreed to it, but they never really stopped fighting and killing uh, the, the, uh, the opposition. And another big problem to the ceasefire is the opposition, which is totally divided. The SNC, as you said, supporting the truce, as is the Free Syrian Army's military council, at least. But a spokesman for the group Ansar al-Islam says his fighters will not commit to the ceasefire, which highlights once again how divided the opposition is. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, what the international community gave the Syrians is not really a workable solution. This truce doesn't have horizons, it needs nowhere, and I think uh, um, that's why you, you see a lot of suspicion and mistrust on the part of cer certain forces within the opposition. B but but uh, after these three days, I doubt that they, you know, they, would be, uh, they will be respected by the regime, but after th those four days, what will happen? People will go back into the fighting and there is no solution in the horizons. And I think that shows the impetus of the international community with regard to the Syrian issue. Is there anything else that Lakhda Brahimi can and should be doing? I mean, he should be honest. He seems to be just maneuvering with no clear principles or plan. I think he should be honest and say, well, here are the, what happened in the last few, few, you know, a few, few weeks that I have been on this task. And uh, either he says, this is my plan, or go, goes back to, to you know, back home and say, I can't do it. But just to stay on the job with no, no ideas how to solve it, I think that's, that's wrong. So you have no optimism at all then that this uh, ceasefire will lead to anything more, a wider ceasefire perhaps, and, and maybe some kind of peace deal? Unfortunately, the regime did not give us any hope or any, any, any reasons to be optimistic. They have always, uh, you know, broken their words and maneuvered around any initiative just to stay fighting. And the result, as you say, over 35,000 uh, uh, Syrians have been killed as a result. Thank you very much, Louis. Yeah, sure. Once again, Louis Saf.